In this video, you will learn how to use GeoGebra to construct a square. First, select the Ray Through Two Points tool from the Line toolbar. Click on the left side of the drawing pad to create point A, and a half line attaches to the cursor. Click to the right to place point B, and half line AB is created, labeled as lowercase a. Contained within half line AB is line segment AB, which will represent one side of the square we will create. A square has four congruent sides and four right angles, so we can create an adjacent side of the square to AB by creating a perpendicular at point B. Select the circle with center through point tool from the circle toolbar. Click on point B to place the center of the circle at point B, then click on half line AB a short distance away from point B. This creates point C and circle C. With the circle with center through point tool still selected, click on point C to place a circle centered at point C, then click somewhere on half line AB to place a circle with a radius longer than half of the radius of circle C. This creates circle D and point D. Select the compass tool from the circle toolbar and click first on point D, then on point C. A circle with the same radius as circle D is created, attached at the center to the cursor. Click on the other intersection of circle C and half line AB. This creates circle E and point E. Select the ray through two points tool again and click first on point B, then on the upper intersection of circles D and E. This creates half line BF, labeled as lowercase b, and point F. The second side of the square will be a line segment on half line BF. In order to create a line segment on BF the same length as line segment AB, select the compass tool again. Click first on point A, then on point B. This creates a circle with a radius equal to line segment AB. Click on point B to place circle F. Select the new point tool from the point toolbar and click on the intersection of half line BF and circle F. This creates point G. Line segment BG is the second side of the square we are creating. To create the third side of the square, first select the compass tool again. Click first on point B, then on point C. This creates a circle with the same radius as circle C. Place the center of the circle at point G. This creates circle G. Use the compass tool again and click first on point D, then on point C. Place the center of this circle at either intersection of circles G and half line BF. This creates circle H and point H. Use the compass tool again on points D and C and place the circle at the other intersection of circle G and half line BF. This creates circle K and point I. Select the Ray Through Two Points tool again. Click first on point G, then on the intersection of circles H and K. This creates half line GJ, labeled as lowercase i, and point J. Select the Compass tool again, and click first on point A, then on point B. Place the circle centered at point G. This creates circle P. Use the new point tool and click on the intersection of circle P and half line GJ. This creates point K. Line segment GK is the third side of the square we are creating. To create the fourth and final side of the square, select the segment between two points tool from the line toolbar and create a line segment between points A and K. Line segment AK is the fourth side of quadrilateral ABGK. Because ABGK has four congruent sides and four right angles, ABGK is a square. Because GeoGebra is dynamic, 
We can see what happens when we adjust various elements of the construction using the Move tool. Moving points A and B adjust the length of line segment AB and the scale of the construction. Moving point C along half line AB changes the radii of the circles of the construction. Moving point D along half line AB adjusts the radii of circles D, E, H, and K. Notice that moving point D closer to point C reduces the radii of circles D and E. If the radii of circles D and E become smaller than half the radius of circle C, then circles D and E will no longer intersect. This is why it is important that circle D was created with a radius more than half that of circle C. Click on the yellow arrow in the upper right hand corner to undo the previous action and point D moves to its previous location.